Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a nice weekend. I appreciate you guys for joining back to watch the video as always. And you know what I do here? I talk about Nigerian Super Eagles, our team, NFF, and everything in between. So guys, uh, in this video, I have a number of interesting updates. Uh, first, let me let you know that, uh, you know, the actual amount of players that Coach Finidi uh, submitted to the NFF uh, has now been reviewed, and it's reported to be... Uh, 35 players right now that he has submitted to the NFF. Of course, uh, you know, if you follow the last video, you know that uh, I talked about uh, Finidi obviously submitting uh, a list of players that he would want to call up for the forthcoming World Cup qualifiers game uh, next month. Of course, uh, you know, every plan is being Every momentum is being gathered towards that one and while the NFF are trying to sort out the backroom staff of Coach Finibi as well as the contract uh, terms and salary and every other thing, uh, they're definitely also uh, trying to uh, work with Finidi to get the best players for this uh, qualifiers game. So Finidi submitted 35 players but uh, it's just provisional list. They're still going to be... Uh, a further chopping down of these names to actually, uh, you know, uh, have a much more reduced size. The report is that it's just going to be 25 players that will be available for that one. So NFF are going to probe that list, like I mentioned in the last video, and then come up with 25 players that they will now call up. But as it stands, these 35 players that Finidi, you know, obviously uh, submitted to NFF, he has now reached out to the club sides of these uh, 35 players, you know, informing them that, hey, uh, you know, we are going to need services of uh, social players, you know, that's in your club that is of Nigerian descent. We want them to come represent us in, uh, you know, in the, in the forthcoming games. So Finidi has done that, sent this uh, memo to this, the different club sides, of course, because I talked about that in the last video. You have to inform these clubs beforehand uh, so that they, you know, they are aware on time that you want their players to obviously come and represent the national team. It has to be like three weeks before the date of the match that you want them to come and play in. So that's the rule. Finidi knows this. NFF knows this. So the report right now is that um, they've, uh, you know, already reached out to the clubs of, of these thirty-five. Uh, uh, players that Affinity uh, has now uh, shortlisted. So NFF are still going to scrutinize it and then together with Finidi they are going to cut uh, the list down to 25 which will now be the people that we will expect to see uh, show up in camp. So the camp is going to be opened very very soon of course. Uh, you know I mentioned that we are expecting NFF to announce the list officially to the public to Nigerians from next week uh, you know after they've uh, vetted the names and you know, decided the people that they want to call up. Uh, but, you know, more of this for that one. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, so that you don't miss out on this. Finidi obviously would be looking to uh, start his Super Eagles uh, coaching career on a high after uh, he, had, he had a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a question mark in the, two, in the uh, friendly that he played, especially the one against Mali that we lost to zero. But again, you know, he has uh, called on Nigerians to obviously give him all the support that he needs and not judge him based on those friendly so uh, you know he can uh, definitely perform and moving on uh, for the next update let me let you know that Amor Pini, the former NFF's president has now uh, supported Coach Finidi in his quest to actually employ three foreign coaches of course I mentioned that in the last video that Coach Finidi wants to work with three foreign coaches uh, you know, as part of the member members of his backroom staff, where he wants uh, analysts to be a foreigner, he wants uh, you know a number of positions, three positions, up to three. I mentioned that in the last video. He wants his position to actually be occupied by foreign uh, assistants, and it seemed like it seemed that he obviously had uh, a bit of a criticism from uh, the NFF. Uh, officials because they were like you know foreign coaches are a little bit complicated to get you know in terms of agreeing a salary contract terms with them and all of that uh, so he, he is reportedly met with some sort of uh, backlash for demanding that but Amadji Pinnick has now jumped in his support to say that Finidi obviously uh, has the rights to demand for foreign coaches foreign assistants because uh, you know 
it's what is the norm with uh, the coaches. He mentioned the number of coaches that Nigeria Spiders uh, have had years before that also demanded for uh, foreign assistant coaches. He mentioned the likes of uh, Buffy Joe, you know, actually assisting Clement Westerhoff, you know, back in the day, and also Sunday BC having a foreign assistant. Uh, Samson Siasia, when he was his time, also had a foreign assistant. And why shouldn't Finidi demand, you know, for foreign assistant if it's what's going to make his job uh, successful and easier? This is what Amor Dupinik is saying, that, uh, you know, the NFF should uh, listen to what Finidi is saying and, you know, make sure to give him all the support that he needs for this one. Amor Dupinik also mentioned that if there's a uh, scarcity of funds or a small amount of funds for the project, you know, that NFF and Finidi should put heads together to decide on the best alternative, uh, you know, going forward. Now moving on to the next update, let me let you know that uh, it's it's looking like, you know, Victor, Victor Osime is uh, favoring uh, a move to Chelsea ahead of the likes of Arsenal, Liverpool and PSG. That's the report that's coming out right now. Of course, you know that Victor Osime is, you know, a, a hot topic for transfer uh, speculation. And of course, uh, a number of club side have obviously uh, gathered to try and sign him. I've been talking about that a lot, you know, on this channel. And, uh, you know, the latest right now is that Chelsea appear to be uh, favored because Osime reportedly wants to uh, wants to move to Chelsea ahead of, you know, the likes of all these other clubs that I mentioned. And, of course, uh, the Chelsea obviously made the first attempt to try and sign Osime last week. I talked about that in one of the videos where they, you know, brought out uh, between uh, 80 to 90 uh, million uh, euros and then Lukaku and one young star again uh, to try and get to Sime. But Napoli reportedly rejected that offer that they, are, they, are, they don't want to deal with uh, swap and then uh, you balance me money sort of thing. They just want, if you're ready, you bring, bring, you bring the full cash and then you take your player. But the full cash is, you know, reported to be around 120 uh, million euro, which is really, really uh, expensive. And one of the uh, the reasons, again, one of the issues why uh, swapping Lukaku and then balancing money and another player was uh, rejected by Napoli was that Lukaku obviously has uh, a huge uh, salary salary demand. So. Uh, Napoli are not willing to meet that salary of Lukaku, which is, you know, something that actually made it complicated. But right now, Chelsea are reportedly uh, are trying to uh, go again, you know, in the bid. But this time around, they, 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 want, they want to try and match uh, the, tra the transfer uh, fee for Victor Osime, of course, uh, which is around 120 uh, million euro. And Osime, as I said, reportedly. Uh, is interested to move to Chelsea ahead of Arsenal. And some people are saying uh, that it's the whole DJ Drogba, you know, influence because Osime and Drogba are obviously uh, close. Osime regards Drogba as, his, uh, as one of his idols, so he listens to him. So people are saying that this might actually be uh, an influence on DJ Drogba. So that's uh, the latest development right now on Osime front. Uh, but again, I don't expect it to be very easy. I know that these clubs that want Osime, the likes of PSG especially, are going to want to fight to the very end to make sure that they land uh, Victor Osime. Uh, but as it stands right now, Chelsea is being favoured because Osime prefers to go to the Premier League and he prefers uh, Chelsea over Arsenal, you know. But it could change any moment, you know, once maybe PSG come into the free to try and uh, lure Osime to Paris. But that's the update for this video at this moment. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and share the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. And have a lovely weekend, guys.